Well, good morning, January 7th. Praise God. We are one week into January, into 2021. Praise God. And I just want to encourage you. It's going to be an awesome year in the Lord. If you stay in the Lord, close to the Lord, seeking the Lord, getting into his word, praying, fellowshipping with like-minded people, man, that are just going for it with God. Amen. Well, listen, one thing I want to give you, uh, help you with is something you're going to have to do this year in 2021 and beyond. You are going to have to resist. Now, what are you talking about, preacher, resist? Well, you'll kind of get where I'm going in a minute. You know, when I was in the army, I trained with the French commandos. We took, I had a special unit and we went, there was a, a dozen of us, and we went and we trained for two weeks with the French commandos. Now, the French commandos, they had a lot of their techniques that they had learned. They had gotten from the French resistance in World War II when they were resisting the Nazis. And so they fought very, very hard. And one of the techniques or one of the things that we did is uh, how to blow up a tank. The, the armor on the belly of the tank or the bottom of the tank is the weakest. So what they would do is we would train. They would have a tank running down these two tracks. And we'd sneak up under the turret. And we'd lay down between the two tracks. And we'd stick some, some silly putty, basically what it was, on the bottom of the tank. Let it roll over us. And then, you know, it, again, the French resistance, the tank would explode. And um, so that was one of the training techniques. They were so insistent uh, in their resistance, and they were so aggressive in the resistance. Do you know, we need to be just as aggressive with the enemy in our lives as well. You know, too many people entertain the thoughts, the attitudes, and the opinions that the enemy puts in them, gives them thoughts, or, or the enemy uses against them. It is time to resist those things. And let me read something to you. In James chapter 4 and verse 6 and 7, but he gives more grace. Therefore, he says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. So, if we humble ourselves unto the Lord, like we need to, the next verse is very powerful. In verse 7, therefore, now that we've humbled ourselves, therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. He not, not that he might flee, he will flee. Well, what does that word submit mean? Well, because we've humbled ourselves unto the Lord and we submitted to him and we've come under his authority, we can resist. That word resist means to oppose. And I'm not talking about being passive, about opposing the things of the enemy in your life. I'm talking about being aggressive. As hard as the enemy comes, we're going to go that much harder because we have the authority over him. And I'll probably get into that next week, the authority. We got the power, and we're going to walk in the power this year like never before. But we can resist him, and the Bible says he will flee. Too many people are entertaining those thoughts that the enemy puts in there, those attitudes those enemy gives you. Quit entertaining those things. Resist the enemy, and he will flee. Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee, the Bible says. See, we've got to continue, just like the French resistance did. They resisted and they were powerful and they were forceful and they were aggressive about it. We need to do the same with the enemy. Submit to God, resist the devil, oppose him, and he will flee. Well, how do you oppose him? You oppose him by using the word of God. You oppose him by praying. You oppose him by taking those thoughts captive. You oppose him by renewing your mind. Resist him aggressively this year like never before. 2021 is here, and we still got some of the same old things that we're dealing with, but we are going to have the victory. We have the victory. We're going to walk in power this year, and so re submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. Amen. Well, listen, call you blessed. Pray that this was a blessing to you today. Continue to walk in faith over fear. God bless you. Hey, we'll see you next time.